Hi, it's Paul from Hen Trevorbore. Hi, it's Annalise from Annie Banani Island. She's on the Instagrams. Follow her, link in the description. But for now, we're going to do a booty training workout. You ready, hun? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> She's still not doing the explosion. So this routine is going to be good for beginner through intermediate lifters. It's three sets of 10 on nearly everything except for the last exercise, the cable abduction, for which we'll do three sets of 15. Frequency twice a week should be about perfect for most people. Starting off, we're going to activate the glutes first. A lot of people do glute exercises and feel it more in the quadriceps. So by doing some activation exercises, we're going to wake the glutes up, let them know that there's time to work. We're going to do a variety of movements. With the help of a band, we can do this crab walk, side and back leg raises, banded squats, and banded bridge. Okay, so on to the actual lifts themselves. We're starting off with hip thrusters. Here we have a purpose-built machine, which is the best way to perform these. You can also perform with your shoulders across a bench and a barbell across your lap, you want to have a towel or some sort of padding between your hips and the barbell, of course. This is the number one glute builder, the best exercise for the job. So we put that in first, really pre-exhaust the glutes. You'll see we've got on the band, which activates the glute medius, the upper outer part of the glutes, gives that rounded, what we call bubble butt look. At the apex of the movement, you want your heels underneath your knees. So your knees are making a 90 degree angle and there's a straight line from your knee through to your shoulders. Exercise number two is the Bulgarian split squat. Raw beginners may not need any weight for this if you're doing it deep enough with a long stance like Annalise is doing here. You know, you'll probably find this taxing enough. As you get better and you need weight, dumbbells are much more manageable than a barbell because you've not got so much core engagement and trying to keep your torso upright, but anything's good, whichever you prefer to do. So you'll see here that Annalise's knee is not traveling past her toe on her working leg. So if yours is, you just need to move your foot forwards a little bit, push your weight through your heel to activate your glutes. At the apex of the movement, Annalise is, is locking out here, which does bring the quadriceps in. If you want it like much more on the glutes and not so much quadriceps, simply leave the knee soft at the top. For balance with your back foot, it's best to have your instep on the bench, so the lace is part of your trainer. To get the most out of this, try to come nice and deep with the movement and really squeeze the glute of your working side to power yourself up. Exercise number three is the Romanian deadlift. So fairly straight-ish legs with this. It's more of a deep hip hinge rather than your butt descending to the floor as it would in a squat, for example. A lot of people used to do these ramrod straight, what we now call stiff-legged deadlifts to damage the tendons in the back of the knee there. So kind of soft knees, the bum goes back a little bit, but the bum does not go downwards. Deep hip hinge and basically really showing your chest towards the floor. Of course, as in any deadlift, we need a nice neutral spine. So that elongated S shape, so the lower back, the lumbar region, nice little arch there we don't want that flat we certainly don't want that rounded it's one of the easiest ways to injure yourself in the gym and that kind of injury you'll never you never get rid of it. it you may be able to manage it like all right but you'll never be the same again and it's a horrible horrible injury so get an expert to to coach you for a time or at the very least you know film your form from the side make sure you've got that arch get that wrong, you're in a world of hurt and you know, you'll never be the same again. So do take a care with that. Exercise number four was the walk-in lunge. By now, Annalise, bless her, this is about her third time in a commercial gym. She's quite new uh, to real heavy training. So she's quite burned out at this point. The glutes and the legs were tired. So we ditched the weights. We're just doing body weight here. As you progress along and you need to make it more difficult, dumbbells, again, are the easiest way to go. You can put a barbell across your shoulders. You know, if your torso is strong enough, you've built up some core strength. And, you know, you've got the flexibility to, to keep nice and upright. A lot of people, beginners, they'll be folded in the hips, put a lot of strain on the low back. You know, you need to, to slowly build that up before you go for it. 
It's best to do this exercise with nice firm trainers if you've got squishy kind of running trainers with foam, you know, you're going to be quite unstable. So nice firm flat bottomed training shoes or, or even barefoot I'll sometimes do this. Long steps so your knee is not traveling forwards of your toes, weight through your heel and really squeeze your glute of your working leg to drive your leg straight as you go forwards. Exercise number five, cable pull through. It's another deep hip hinge, it's kind of mimicking a deadlift movement pattern again. Some people feel quite awkward doing this movement, you know, it's a little bit of a funny looking exercise, but those people laughing at you in two or three months time when your glutes are looking real amazing, you know, and there's a knot, you can have the last laugh. And finishing up exercise number six, the cable abduction. It is specifically to isolate the glute medius, that upper outer part of the glutes there. Like I say, give you that bubble butt look. Isolation moves on the glutes, from my experience, from my perspective, they seem to favour slightly higher reps. So three sets of 15 on this one particular exercise. Keeping the hips perpendicular to the pulley, bring your legs straight out laterally, and the foot of the working leg, you actually want to turn that slightly downwards, which then really hits that glute medius muscle nice and hard, really activates it in that way. So each week we want to try and add a little bit of weight to each exercise. On the second workout of that same week, I would just seek to match what you did in the first one. So we're just consolidating our strength. And then the second week, again, we then up the weight a little bit, match it at the second workout of that week, and so on. If you were struggling to grow on this regime, nine times out of 10, it's because people are under eating because they don't want to put fat on. But if we can just be in a slight caloric surplus such that our weight is going up a little bit week by week, you know, if we're not overdoing it, we'll be growing muscle, hopefully not putting slop on. I hope you enjoyed watching our video and I think you should click on the next video or I might just kick you in the head. <laughs>